we cannot work on those quilt blocks because it is occupied okay so let's get busy and let's start a free motion our quilt tops I have a package to come in the mail and let me tell you these things are expensive I mean expensive, $37 for this thing right here, a free motion, and not only that, that thing actually stinks, I mean it has a very bad smell to it, so I'm hoping, and look at here, <laughs> it, uh, I wonder if I could cut that off, or really do I want to? Because if I take it here, then it's not on there. I wonder. No, nope, I'm not going to like that. I'm simply go this way with it. Of course, as you can tell, I have not put it on. Come on now, work with me. No, nope, love of them do it. I wonder. Well, I'm not going to worry about it unless it comes to a problem. Alright, it, it'll go down in there. Okay, so we are going to give it a try. Now, I'm not going to worry about any patterns or anything. I'm just going to start, like right here in the corner here, and work around on this one, and I'll... And just do whatever. Doesn't matter if it overlays or whatever. I do not want to go into my flower or my, uh, uh, like my bow tie or my flower. I just want to do it on the outside of it. And I'll, because I don't want to mess them up. I think they look good. So, let's get started and let's see how we work. impurities that you saw there it is this is Walmart thread that I'm using and I usually don't use Walmart thread but this is the color that I have that's purple and all uh, so there it is even with all the troubles that I had so I'm gonna do the rest of them whether right or wrong or indifferent yep. see just like mama cat she going to come in here and they're, they're both going to get in a fight. So who gets to lay on it? So who gets to quilt, huh? <laughs> yep. That's what's going to happen. <laughs>
on off of these blocks. But she's on the ones that I am sewing on. Go figure. Now where's Mama Cat? Is she anywhere around? No. Oh, I hear her. Let's go check it out. There's Mama Cat right there. We're going to get out this right here. And we're going to kind of even it up. And get it all on the every bit of this I can get. And probably then some. But we're going to work on just this. I think we're doing okay. I've got the, um, this, the, the hem still here, so. I wish I'd have went through and cut everything out, but I didn't. So now, what we're going to do is turn around here where I can cut it. <laughs> we're going to cut two inches. Two inch strip here. Okay. Then I'm going to cut me another one. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut them all down. We got the cat over now. Now we're in trouble. She's going to take over everything. Alrighty. Let's see if we can't cut these blocks down. So, all I'm doing is just trimming these blocks down so we can sew them down. And... We can get started on them and get it done. My, the thread has really, really been upsetting me today. And it has not went very well. It's took me two days to do these. So I kept on having to stop and Figure out what's going on with that old thread and why it kept on doing what it was doing. Now, I don't know if I figured it out or not, but I ended up getting these done. Now I gotta fight through it with the other stuff. So we got that one done. And now we have the small ones. So we don't want to forget to trim them all down. Because we are going to want. To have all the space that we can have and not have no problem with it. Well, I didn't need that, did I? Alrighty. <coughs> Alright. One more side. Now then, what we're going to want to do from here that out of the way and we're going to want to find our four middle ones the two butterflies and we want the two butterflies that has these going down yeah i think that's them let's check it out and make sure we got the right two okay okay that's got to go up there at the top all right no because that one would go down here like this. Yep. Make sure I'm right here. Now what are you doing there? What are you chewing on my hand for? That's my hand. Yep, that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to put those two back over there. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to turn this one on top of this one. I'm going to line everything up. Grab my pins. So I make sure we keep everything in line. And now I'm going to go and sew these two down. And I ha already have my walking foot on. So we're doing good on that spot. So when I get these right here done, look at here. Now what are you doing? What are you doing? What? what? Okay, we got trouble. Okay, I'm going to go do this and then we'll be back. Okay, now we got our strips cut. I've got two of these laid out. And I want them 
the opposite of what they are here. Can you see what I'm, what I'm saying? And all their opposite. Okay. So my strips. Now what I'm gonna do with my strip is I'm just gonna lay it across here evenly. Pull it out some. Make sure. And then I'm going to give it a whack right here. I get me a little bitty overhang. Now I'm gonna flip this one over on top of this one. Lay it up here. Make sure I got all my four pieces together. Get me one pin. Throw it in there. Now I'm gonna bring the pins over. Now I'm gonna get this one, this strip, I'm gonna lay it across right here. And make sure it's all leveled up across. And I'm going to pin it down. Okay. There we go. We can be happy with this. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew it all the way down. So I'll meet you at the sewing machine. I've got my walking foot on. And I got my magnets so they don't go over what I want on my uh, seam here. So now I'm going to stick it right underneath there, pop her down, and go to town. <laughs> how it sewed it down looks pretty good to me all right now we're going to turn it over and we're going to take this right here that we sewed on and we're going to flip it over and we are going to pin it down let's see if we can't And now we're going to sew it down on both sides. Mm. And this right here is what it's going to look like. Right down through here. So that looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like on the front. It hits two of these right across, right down through here. So, I'm going to get these right here done. And then we're going to put these four together. So I'll be back when I get this one right here done. Um, now that I got this done, I want to take, and if I have anything I need to trim off down here at the bottom, you can barely see me, then I want to do it now. So that I don't have no problems later on. Alright. So we can do pretty good on this one, I think. This side right here needs a little trimming. So let's just pop this one right here and let's get it kind of level with that one over there and I'm happy with that one. okay now we have these two now let me make sure I have it the way that I want it hmm it goes that way sorry about if I block you out okay now I'm gonna put this one like this And I'm going to level it up just like the way the last one went. I already done cut my strip that are equal up to them four. I want to put these in the middle. If you see, this one's here and this one's here. They're side by side. We don't, we want to evil, even this side up and this side up. And then that right there will go side by side. Let me kind of get a... And here we go. We'll bring it over here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You see here where this one right here is here. And this one is here. We want it side by side. Because if you don't, they won't come out even on the other side. So, there's that. So, okay. Now then, we're going to bring that up. 
I'm going to level these out the way they're supposed to be. And then I'm going to put my strip on. And I'm going to pin it down and take it and sew it down the same way. Alrighty. So we'll be back when I get done with that. To make sure that in between each one that we do, we want to check and make sure that it does not leave anything out or anything and make sure that it's right and that it looks good. So far, so good. So now I'm going to work on the back of it and uh, pin these down right here. So I'm going to have to do some rearranging so I can reach my goal. So I guess I'll see you in a minute after I get this one right here done. I've got this one on and we need to cut our tips if we have any tips that really needs to be cut off like this one does. Alright, now the next thing I want you to look at is right here on the very back. Right here. Where this right here meets, make sure you can get, you're going to have to skip over it because it is too thick for the sewing machine. Um, I'm afraid to take it through that. I mean, it's really thick. Can you see it coming up in my fingers? Okay, so now we've got the, the four middle ones on. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to get two of these right here and they will go I'm going to, down here at this end I hope you see it so we want to make sure that these right here blocks right here stay consistent all the way up so if we take this one over here this way you kind of want to do them in twos as far as you can so that it will be easier on you and the sewing machine. So I'm going to put these two on this side. Then I'm going to put another two on this side. And then I'm going to work on the bottom because it will be just one. And it will be one up here on, this t on the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these and then I'm going to go to the bedroom and I'm going to lay all of them down so I'm going to have these two attached to this one, to the to the four okay I have my four butterflies in the middle here and then I have these two at the top now what we want to do from here is we want to do two more down here right here then we want to sew these right here down this way, right here, the going on around right there, down this way. Okay. Then we want to put them on. Then all these right here that are just the two, we want to put them down this way. So that is the way that it is laid out. When I get all this sewed and put together, then we'll come back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, this right here be scooped down and I'm going to make a, a top to go all the way across it, but it will be the head of the bed. So I will see you when I get all these right here sewed together. Okay, I'm having trouble with this side. It's too heavy and the quilt keeps on shifting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a strip. I'm going to put it underneath here. I'm going to hold it there. I'll grab this one. And let's see if I can do it this way. I'm going to pull it up here and I'm going to go through both of them. go and pin it down so that I could control this one right here better 
See, I'm going to want to put that one down at the bottom. And let's see if it doesn't sew any better. Let's get my pen. Yeah. Go through that one. So I'm going to give that a try. Dent that needle. I'm going to give that a try. See if that don't help me. And we'll see. Alrighty, so we're going to give that a try. I'll be back next This far from it and I ran out of bobbin. I went on ahead and sewed it and didn't know it. So let's continue. inches and I have two pieces cut to nine inches too and this is for the top of the uh, quilt okay now I want I need to cut for the binding all the way around it so I'm going to cut two inches for my binding to go all the way around it so I need to um, attach the top before I put the binding around it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line all my strips up here so I can cut them even because they're not even at the top.
Okay, now I have these right here ready to go to sew. So I'm going to sew them down and then we'll come back and I'll, we'll um, fix the uh, top of it so that um, we can go ahead and put the top, sew the top completely on. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to grab one side. It really doesn't matter because it's square all the way around. And, well, for one thing, I'm going to have to level this out because it's, like, messed. Dot level. Oh. All right. Now then, we are going to take... I figure out which one I want in the at the front. And I have this one or this one. Let's see if I can find the front of it. I want the top to show. Emily, good enough. Alright, here we have the top on this one. And this one. Now, let's see which one we like the best. Can you tell them? Yeah, you can see them both. Okay. I think because both of them don't have much material. This one has less. So I think that one right there would look better. Now let's turn it over and let's see what we got on the back of it. Let's see. Yeah, I think we ought to put this one on top and this one right here on the back. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with the one I want on the front and I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to leave a little bit overlapping so that um, I have room to do some trimming to it. And then I'm going to open this one up and I'm going to put it, oh, okay, I can have it this way. I'm about ready to make a boo boo. There we go. And we'll scoot this one down. And we'll leave us a little bit of overhang. Grab me some pins. Oh no, I'm out of pins over here. Okay, and I'm going to pin this down. Right here. Alright, now I'm going to take my fiber fill, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm not going to have enough on this one. So I'm going to have to do me some fiber fill thing. Give me some more fiber fill in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start pinning this down. So now when I get this sewed on, then we'll be back and we'll take a look at it. And I'll, so I'll see you then. Okay, I've got it sewed on. Now what I'm doing is I'm pulling the back up. I'm leveling this right here out. And I'm putting a pin in it. And I'm doing it all the way across. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and sew a line all the way down here. Right in here I'm going to sew all the way around. And then whenever I get done with it, I'm going to take and put uh, trim the, the sides off right here on this side. Let's right, this right here. So that is my next move and what I did with my missing batting is I just cut a piece off and I just put it in here and overlaid it oh about an inch right there so then that way then there's some there so now I am going to go and I'm going to sew right down this right here line there's this part I still got to go and put a small binding around it. 
and I got the top on. Now, with the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up about two and a half inches. <coughs> so another line. <coughs> go about two more, uh, two, uh, two and a half inches go up. I'm going to look at the ruler and see what it looks like. <coughs> and then I'm going to put the binding all the way around it. And, of course, it's only like two inches around, so it's not just enough to cover it. So I'll show it to you whenever we get done. But other than that, I think it's a real pretty quilt. I mean, it's more like a just something to lounge around on the couch with, but it's still pretty. Alrighty, I've got it sewed, and I got it sewed in three things down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by the last one that I did, and I'm going to go and do an inch, and I'm going to cut and make it all even all the way down. So make sure we got and put an inch right on my seam line keep on going outwards with it and then I'm going to get started and put the um, put the uh, border on it my last thing and then we'll be done with this so I'll see you when I get it done then that way Y'all can see how pretty it is. Well, hello there, Mama. You gonna get over here in my way now? Huh? Are you getting in my way now, Mama? Yes, you are. You're stopping me. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is try to get it over here. Find the beginning of my strip. Hopefully, I'm not putting no knots in it. And I'm gonna turn it fold it in half and I'm going to leave me some on here and I'm going to start pinning it down around it and sewing it down and then now I think I will show you a picture of it when I am done so you will see it then.